Fort Yargo State Park is located in Winder, Georgia. That's in the northern part of the state, about 30 minutes west of Athens and about an hour east of downtown Atlanta. This park was named after the fort that was built here in 1792 that you can still see here today. This fort was built to protect the settlers from the Creek and Cherokee Indians. This 1,816-acre state park has a $5 day use fee. It also has a 260-acre man-made lake, which was made by the damming up Marbury Creek. It was dammed using an earthworks dam, which you can explore on today, which is what we did. Water drain through it underneath it. Keep away from it and it drains right down there. We even saw a row team practicing on the lake. Also, on the lake you can boat, you can paddle, you can fish. They have a kayak rental. They also have a swimming area, which we visited, but we visited in the fall. And so there's no swimming then, but I did see more recently on their website that the swimming area is closed for renovations until 2025. So I'll show it to you, but you might not be able to visit it if you go in the next year or so. We went October 16th, 2023, and we were starting to get a little bit of fall color showing. I went over all the water activities already, but they also have biking, geocaching, picnicking. They also have disc golf and miniature golf, but I was on their website more recently and it says all that is closed. The two golfs are closed for renovations as well. So there must be doing a lot of renovations on this park. So it's like we're going to have to go back to see it after these renovations are done. But they also have hiking, which is what we like to do anyway. And they have over 21 miles of hiking trails here. It says this park was the first in the nation to have a comprehensive outdoor recreational facility designed for people with disabilities. This whole Wilkins Trail that we walk was ADA accessible. The Wilkins Trail merges into other trails that go more in the woods, which is what we did. They also have a beautiful new visitor center and gift shop. I'm a sucker for a good gift shop.
You get really beautiful views of the lake from the back of the visitor center where you can do some turtle watching and bird watching. And last but not least, their accommodations. They have 47 tent, trailer, and RV campsites. They have 12 walk-in campsites, one pioneer campground, six yurts, and 17 cottages. And we will give you a tour of our cottage. We stayed in cottage number seven.